The YLC Scholarship, or Youth Leadership Council Scholarship, is actually one of the more unique scholarships in that it's chosen by their peers. Douglas Stevens was our YLC winner this year, and, and as all of our, our scholarship winners, he was a remarkable student. Um, has a lot going on, um, both scholastically as well as his, his extracurricular activities. Uh, involved in numerous events and, and, and quite an impressive uh, young man. I've known him for, f for four years um, uh, as a young man in the church, seen him grow up, uh, growing a beard, that's uh, a big achievement. And uh, yeah, the relationship is one of, of friendship. Actually, I didn't meet Douglas until he was doing this project. The first speech that he gave, uh, he contacted me and asked me if I would watch it to help him give him some pointers. And when he spoke, I expected an immature speaker. And what I got was a well-organized, very moving speaker. Uh, I met Douglas two years ago at our fall uh, debate camp and he immediately made an impression on me because uh, you could tell he was very intelligent. He caught on to the concepts, which not everyone does, uh, right at the beginning. And uh, he liked it so much that he then joined our class. Douglas uh, was just a, a baby when uh, he attended uh, our annual Long Street Church service. Um, and I've watched him grow up uh, through the years. Uh, thing that marked him as a, a young child, a, a boy, a young man, was his politeness. We did put him in the advanced class right from the beginning, even though he was a novice debater, and he took to it like a fish takes to water, and he, you could tell he enjoyed it, but he also put in the hard work that's necessary to be successful at, at debate, and he's gone on to earn quite a few awards at our different tournaments now. The members of the Fayetteville Light Infantry watched him also grow up and we waited with great anticipation for the day that he would turn 18 and uh, as tradition would have it, the son would follow the father in his footsteps as a, a member of this organization. Douglas is um, a potential author. He sees himself as an author. And so I've had opportunities to tell him some of the books that I've read and some of the influences those have had on my life. And I believe he has then taken some um, cues from that uh, to do some reading for himself and always found um, Douglas to be a thoughtful and a mature young man. There's a maturity and about his thinking, a maturity about his expression, and maturity about his opinions on almost everything that I've had reason to contact him with. I knew that this young man was going to change the world in a way. 